Hi, today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys for the Baby Bajor Carrier and the Moby Wrap Carrier to tell you which one's kind of better and which one I like more. Now personally, I like the Moby Wrap better. Carter's a little older now, he's much heavier, so it's easier to put him in the Moby Wrap. The Baby Bajor is kind of heavy um, to put him in here. So I'll actually start with the Baby Bajor. So this is kind of what it looks like, if any of you guys haven't seen it. And everything's already pre-adjusted to fit me. So I'm just going to slide this in over like this. And you can tighten the back. And then you pull this up like this. So I'm going to go get my model. Say hi. All right. So the Baby Bajoran has two ways to carry. You can do forward facing so he can see out or you can do towards your chest. I'm going to make him out because he's a little older. He's not a newborn. And what you do is put this up. His arm will go in this little hole right here. And these snaps go down like that. And you'll hear a little click. And you do the same for this side. And one side is red and one side is blue. And then with this top part, for a younger baby, if they're facing you, you will put this over their head. But since he's a little older, you just make sure his arms go through here and you snap this part right here and it goes right in just like that and then if I need to adjust him I just jump a little bit and adjust him where he needs to be so this is kind of putting a little strain right here on my shoulders since he's a little heavier now and also on my back um, right in this area he's much much heavier than he used to be he still likes it and he's comfortable in here but it's much too heavy for me. I couldn't put him in here for more than an hour without getting a backache while I'm holding him. So this is kind of how he looks. And he's rather comfortable. Um, he really loves being in here all the time, actually. So this is how it works. The pros and cons of this. It's much easier to get him in and out of this. As you see, I just clipped him in in a few seconds. Um, it's easy to take off. It's not as much hassle as the Moby Wrap. But like I said, with a larger baby, he does get very heavy, and it's a lot of stress right here on my shoulders. But he really likes it, right? He like it. All right, so next I'm going to show you guys the Moby Wrap. I'm going to show you how we take him out of here. So you just click this here. Make sure you're holding him so he doesn't fall. You slide this out on either side. Uh-oh. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get them out. There we go. And then this front part just comes right on off like that. On the inside of this, they also show you exactly how to put the baby on both ways and how to adjust the different straps and things. So that is the baby Bajorn. Now this carrier usually runs about $60 or $70. Um, I actually got mine from Once Upon a Child for $25. Bucks. And I got a lot of use out of it. The next thing I want to show you guys is the Moby Wrap. I'm sure everyone's very familiar with the Moby Wrap. I'm going to show you two different ways to use the Moby Wrap. The first way is the front carrier. You make sure that this little tag is facing you. And you're going to crisscross this around your back. I don't know if you guys can see. And it's going to come up and over like that. Once you adjust it up and over, you take these two pieces and you crisscross them down inside the front part. <laughs> I'm going to put him in forward facing because he's a little sleepy this time. Oh no. So you slide his feet in like this, and this isn't necessarily the way that they tell you to do it, but this is the easiest way I find for me to get Carter in. So once you get these two straps, you crisscross them under his butt, and you go back around your waist, and you can come back in the front if you need to, like this. And you just tie it nice and tight. These pieces right here, make sure that you pull them nice and good over his bottom. 
so he's nice and secure. And then this Moby Wrap part right here, you pull it down over his bottom and up his back. Now Carter doesn't like his arms inside because he feels constrained, so I leave his arms out. His back is still really supported though. These are much better on my shoulders and on my back, so he's not straining me as much this way. And he's nice and comfy and secure. Right? So this is the Moby Wrap. Um, pros about the Moby Wrap, like I said, he's much lighter. I think he enjoys this better. It's not as much strain on his um, crotch area as the Baby Bajor. It's more comfortable for me to wear here, and it has more holes than just forward and backwards. The things I don't like about it, it's really long, so it's not easy to wrap up and get them out of it. It takes a little while. Um, but other than that, I really like the Moby Wrap. So I'm going to show you guys one more way to wear your baby in the Moby Wrap. And Carter weighs 19 pounds and he's still being held comfortably for me in this wrap. And as you can see, it's really easy to get him out. And we're going to do one more wrap. The next wrap I'm going to show you is the hip wrap. So this is the part where I say it's a lot of fabric. <laughs> as you can see, because we're all tangled up. It's partly my fault because of the way I took it off. Okay. The hip wrap, you do the similar thing. You're going to find the front part of the Moby wrap like this. And you put it on your hip this time. You still crisscross the pieces. And you slide them down like that. And now I'm going to go get my model. Here he is. And we're going to go in the hip wrap. So we do it the same way. We're going to put his little legs in there. This time I'm going to put it all the way around his body. Like this. And then I'm going to pull the part with the tag over his bottom. Make sure these two pieces that you just covered him with are crisscrossed under your leg, under his legs. Like so. There we go. And then you're going to wrap this part around your body just like you did with the first wrap. Make sure you spread these pieces of fabric over his body and over his butt. And then you pull the part with the mummy wrap down over his butt again. And this is the hip hope. It's very comfortable and he likes being in this way. Once again, it's not straining my shoulders. I can adjust this if it does start to hurt my shoulders at all. And Carter is a little wiggler. Yeah. And there he is. Nice and comfortable on my hip. There's no strain on my back. Now if I had to choose between the Moby Wrap or the Baby Bajour, I would choose oh, yeah, the Moby Wrap. The Moby Wrap works the best. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching and this is my comparison. Bye!